Hey, True Believers, England Teen here with another episode of Comic Book Origins. In this case, we are talking about Nubia, created in 1973 by Robert Kaniger and Don Heck. She is Wonder Woman's black twin sister. There is a bit of a controversy surrounding her and Bumblebee. Some people believe that Nubia is DC Comics' first black female superhero, while others lean towards Bumblebee because she's more of a traditional costume crime fighter, but she was created in 1976. You judge for yourself. Crisis on Infinite Earths kind of wiped Nubia out for a while. She ended up making a return by Dozel Young and Brian Denham in Wonder Woman Annual Number 8. Surprisingly enough, she did show up in some other things, so you may have seen her. Earth-22, Scooby-Doo Team-Up, Injustice Gods Among Us, uh, Wonder Woman Earth-1. But the thing that surprised me was I found out she was supposed to be in the 1970s Wonder Woman TV show starring Linda Carter, and she was even given her own Mego doll. Major Steve Trevor, Nubia Wonder Woman Super Foe. Gotcha, Major. Wonder Woman, holy! I'll save you, Major, as soon as I catch a few loose things. Wonder Woman, Major Steve Trevor, and Nubia doll sold separately. And apparently, this can be yours for the low, low price of $400 right now on eBay. <laughs> yeah, I looked it up just for this. You know what? Alrighty, guys, enough of the backstory. Let's jump into Wonder Woman number 204, the first appearance of Nubia. And of course, as always, we have to start with the cover. It says, New Adventures of the Original Wonder Woman. I like this, the... Previous issue, as a matter of fact, this is the transitional issue before she was the mod Wonder Woman, where she was just a kung fu jujitsu spy girl in a white outfit. This brings her back to former glory. Now we get a little bit lower and we see the cover is just really wordy. I'm not a big fan of that, uh, but it isn't exactly taking away from the art either. If we look at Nuba, Nubia, you see her body looks like it's shifted to the right. Her left hip is just enormous. But if you look at her left leg, it looks like it's on backwards, as a matter of fact. It just the, the pivot of the knee just looks all wrong. You could even see it again in Wonder Woman's waist. This is not a very good cover. If you look at it piece by piece, on the whole, it doesn't look bad. But if you pay attention, I don't like it. The comic starts off with the title, The Second Life of the Original Wonder Woman, and then introduces us to a day like any other in Fun City, but we see a sniper in a tower who decides to go on a killing rampage. First victim is an editor of a woman's magazine. I'm pretty sure this is a takeoff of the 1966 Texas Tower murder, because that had a pall that lasted for a decade and a half at least. We then see the sniper take out a delivery boy and then a newlywed couple whose car veers off into a restaurant. It just so happens that that's the restaurant that Wonder Woman and her partner Ai Ching are having lunch in. Just a little backstory for those of you who are not in the know. There was a time, it's called the Mod Era of Wonder Woman, or Mod Wonder Woman. It was written by Denny O'Neill. He's a huge feminist uh, and huge liberal, and he thought he was doing a great thing by taking away Wonder Woman's superpowers. He wanted to show that women can be strong without superpowers. So he thought he was doing this big woman's lib uh, thing, and it backfired extremely bad on him as you know, Gloria Steinem and other feminist leaders were yelling at him because he basically depowered a woman who could stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with Superman. So it, it didn't last a long time. And I Ching was the guy who trained her after she lost her powers and decided to still be a secret agent. Wonder Woman managed to save I Ching from the car. She laments over the fact that there's two people dead inside of it when the sniper rifle takes out I Ching and she cries over the death of the father that she never had. This, of course, angers Wonder Woman, so she runs out. She sees a helicopter about to take off. They figure this is the only way to reach a sniper in the tower, so they begin to fly off. Wonder Woman says she's coming with them and jumps on the ladder that's hanging down. As they approach the sniper, he pulls out a grenade launcher, firing it at the helicopter. The helicopter hit plummets towards the earth, but not before Wonder Woman throws herself at the sniper. The sniper takes a swing at Wonder Woman, 
and claims that the hospital he was in filled him with drugs and claimed he was over his violent tendencies, but they were wrong. Wonder Woman continues to fight with him, trying to reason with him, but he won't listen. Knocking her over the ledge, he doesn't realize that Wonder Woman's grip remained tight around his arm. The sniper and an unconscious Wonder Woman plummet towards the ground while it looks like Wonder Woman lands backbreakingly onto a gargoyle. The sniper continues to fall to his death. Two women recognize her as Diana Prince and pulls her in, calling to her until she opens her eyes. She asks who is Diana Prince. The doctor says, why you, of course, and tells her, of course, she was fighting a sniper. She fell out of the window. She landed on a projection from the building. And the nurse says that the madman killed your friend, I Ching, and she says she didn't know an I Ching, and she has to get back, but she has no answer when they ask her, get back to where, get back to where, so they give her a sedative to make her fall asleep. Shortly after that, the nurse comes in to find out that Diana Prince is gone, and how could she be? They gave her a sedative. She should be asleep, and there was only one way she could have gone, which is out the window, so they're wondering what the heck is Diana Prince, and we cut to an Air Force base where a, an airplane takes off and two guards are like, holy crap, there's not supposed to be a takeoff right now. We need to sound an alarm. And we find out that it is Diana Prince who took the aircraft and she just keeps repeating over and over. She has to get back. She has to get back. Wonder Woman claims she has no idea where she's going, but there's a force guiding her hand. We then see more airplanes come up behind her. One of the pilots calls to their superior officers claiming that she is not responding and they say that they cannot have this aircraft fall into hostile hands and that she's to be destroyed. So the pilots fire upon Wonder Woman, causing the plane to plummet to the earth in a fiery wreckage. We see the plane crash into the water as Wonder Woman swims free. Thank Hera, I was thrown clear. Thank Hera. Where in the world did that come from? Shark! And we see a shark bumper. I'm going to talk about that in just a sec. Got to pretend I'm dead. Maybe sharks. Okay, okay, okay. Stop, 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 stop. Uh, no. All right? No. You do not pretend to be dead when a shark's around. That's just inviting them to tear you apart. They like passive uh, they, they, they like passive meat, basically. Um, they Yes, you want to be big. You want to swing those arms and legs. You want to beat the shit out of it. Do whatever you can to dissuade that shark from eating you. That's what you want. It is not a bear. A bear, you can play dead. The bear might walk away. I've even uh, saw a story one time where a bear picked up a little girl's head in his mouth. She still played dead he dropped her walked away and she just had a few bruises you do that with a shark and you will be eaten okay no you don't got to pretend i'm dead maybe the shark will pass by me wonder woman the whole point of him coming in for the kill is because he saw passive meat all right don't that is bad advice bad advice from wonder woman do not play dead when a shark's coming to you I've lived in Florida my entire life. I've swam in the beaches. I've swam near sharks, and I've had sharks come up and be very interested in what I'm doing. You do not play dead. Funny thing was, I was going to mention that the bump that she felt is usually what sharks do, and w most shark attacks are the initial test to see if this is an edible creature or they'll bump to see if there's going to be any fight back. Luckily for her, Wonder Woman manages to jump on the back of the shark and ride it towards the surface. Lungs bursting for air, I've got to let go. Head for the surface, even if it's for my last breath before the shark turns on me. Desperately hurling herself free of the undersea cannibal, Diane's hand suddenly it is gripped by. Wonder Woman is pulled onto a boat filled with Amazon warriors, one of which recognizes who she is and says they need to get her back to Queen Hippolyta's palace so they head back to paradise island and after a change of clothes wonder woman starts to come through and she sees a woman standing there saying thank Hera for bringing you back to me hippolyta identifies herself as wonder woman's mother but wonder woman just does not remember her so her subjects tell her well we need to take her to the memory bank so she remembers and hippolyta says yes yes of course we need to do that but Let's not give her memory banks three and five because there's no reason she needs to know my secrets. And they begin to replay her memories. 
The Memory Channel replay the origins of the Amazon showing and women have wept until Aphrodite, goddess of love and beauty, shaped with her own hands a race of superwomen stronger than men. I shall breathe life into these women and also the power of love. They shall be called Amazons and you shall be their queen, Hippolyta. So long as you wear my magic girdle, you Amazons shall be unconquerable, Queen Hippolyta. But Aphrodite's rival, the scheming Mars, god of war, plotted to destroy the Amazons with the mighty Hercules, strongest man in the ancient world. The Amazons are a super race, Hercules, but their weakness is that they are still only women, led by their hearts. This is what you must do, see Queen Hippolyta and... So Hercules puts the moves on Hippolyta. You are as beautiful as Aphrodite herself. You fill my veins with fire. I dream of you night and day, my queen. No man has ever spoke to me like this, Hercules. And as soon as she has her guard down, he whips the girdle off of her. Mars was right. Women are blind when they are being wooed. Without Aphrodite's magic girdle, you Amazons are powerless. Never trust a woman. Chain them! Who's he talking to? Where'd they come from there's like he was alone in a room and all of a sudden i guess okay there's guys there so anyway the amazons are now chained and hippolyta says aphrodite forgive my sin give us strength to break our chains and recover your magic girdle aphrodite answers the prayers freeing the amazons declaring that from now on they have to wear heavy bracelets to remind them to never again submit to men Hippolyta fights Hercules and recovers the, gu the girdle and then swears that she will never again submit to a man. And Aphrodite gives them the island of Themyscira, Paradise Island as it's known at this point, for them to live on. The city rose. The Amazons thrived without men, but the Amazon queen still had yearnings of a woman and under the direction of Athena, goddess of wisdom, learned the secret of molding human form. They're beautiful, Athena. If only they were alive. Memory channels 345. What secret was not shown to Diana as her origin continues with memory channel 6? And then we get the origin of Wonder Woman and how, yes, she was created out of clay and given the powers, the beauty of Aphrodite, the speed of Mercury, the strength of Hercules. And, of course, she comes to life and we see a little bit of her growing up and her mom declaring her truly to be a Wonder Woman. A little bit on the nose, but there you go. And so we see Diana go into the Temple of Aphrodite and receive her bracelets of submission. And of course, her Wonder Woman outfit and the golden lasso to help her fight crime. That's when Hippolyta says, please bring my daughter back to me and the memories end. Hippolyta is very happy to have Wonder Woman back with the Amazons, so she summons all the Amazons for a celebration, which leads us to the question, what is going on with her face right here? Seriously, it was an artistic choice to draw lines to make it look like she just drank a whole ton of chocolate milk and she's trying to grow a Van Dyke. And so, Hippolyta presents Wonder Woman to the Amazons. Hola, Princess Diana. Hola, Wonder Woman. You are the mightiest Amazon in the world. Suddenly, an astounding intruder. I challenge this usurper. There is only one Wonder Woman, and I am Wonder Woman. And ladies and gentlemen, the first appearance of Nubia. Why does this stranger make my heart pound? By Amazon law, I claim the right to pro prove in hand-to-hand -hand combat which of us is Wonder Woman. You do have that right, and you shall be given your chance. After swift pre preparations, the entire assemblage of Amazon watches the unique duel at Paradise Island St Stadium. The stranger is as fearless as Diana in facing the bulls, but she can't be as agile as strong. Both Diana and the Masked Challenger daringly leap over the lunging horns of the bulls. We see the warriors riding the bulls. By Harris, stranger, no one but I has ever conquered the bulls before. A trifle for me. I am Wonder Woman. And Hippolyta ponders, the stranger reminds me of, no, it's impossible. Then why am I torn, lest the stranger falls before Diana in the dual sword and scarf? And the two warriors fight each other. The clanging of the metal rings about them. Suddenly, Wonder Woman falls 
and Nubia stands above her. Diana's hand lunges at the sword. You hesitated too long to kill me, stranger. They wrestle on the ground. Why? 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 I don't know, Nubia answers back. Then Hippolyta stops the fight. By Amazon law, the duel ends in a draw. Stranger, rise, remove your helmet, and identify yourself that all of us may honor you. And the crowd goes wild around her. The stranger removes her helmet. I am Nubia, Wonder Woman of the Floating Island. Hola, Nubia, says Wonder Woman. And then Hippolyta thinks, is it possible after all these years that Nubia is, is... Wonder Woman says to Nubia, we must celebrate our meeting, Nubia. No, I must go back to my boatsmen. My people are waiting on our floating island concealed in the mist offshore. We will see each other again, Nubia. We will, Diana, until one of us proves she is the only Wonder Woman. Farewell until we meet again. Nubia leaves and Diana talks to her mother, Hippolyta and says, well, I want to learn more about Nubia. But Hippolyta says, no, you've got to go back to man's world. You are supposed to stop them from destroying themselves and the world around us. And there is a submarine hanging off the coast that's going to take you back home, and that's exactly what they do. And so we cut back to the UN where Diana Prince is standing there trying to get a job as a translator, she speaks a lot of language, so she's sure to get it. But there's a sexist boss who says, well, the other ones look better and more exotic, but I'm going to take that plain Jane as well. And she meets two women there who decide to become roommates. And the end. 204 was Nubia's first appearance, but she showed up at the end. There wasn't a lot about her. She basically fought Wonder Woman. It was an action scene, and we didn't get much knowledge about her there was a lot of mystery around her which is cool that i'm gonna include this i'm gonna kind of rush through it just to save time on the video but there is a chapter at the end of 205 this chapter starts basically at the end of the themyscira scene in 204 where we see hippolyta saying goodbye to wonder woman and then she just she's driven to go and see nubia to see her off and say goodbye as well hippolyta approaches nubia and Nubia's boatsmen try to warn her, Beware of a trap, Princess Nubia. Sheathe your sword, Asa. Women have nothing to fear from women. <laughs> Not what I've seen. So Hippolyta tells her, I just saw my daughter Wonder Woman off on a mission whose end only the mute fates can see, Nubia. I am Wonder Woman Queen. Our next duel will decide that by Aphrodite's law. I, Nubia... That is the law. Anyone may challenge my daughter's right to that title. Until then, may I wish that you find favor in Hera's eyes as you already have in mine. Nubia asks why Hippolyta is being nice to her. Hippolyta just says, are we not all sisters? And then wishes her farewell. Hippolyta waves as they depart, wondering what exactly is the connection she has to Nubia. And then we see the floating island that Nubia comes from. She departs her boat, and as she's walking towards her village, there are two men practicing their sword play. And it quickly becomes apparent by their dialogue that the two men are fighting for the right to woo Nubia, and she puts an end to that crap right away, saying, Nubia will not be owned by any man. So the men remind her that this is according to Mars law of conquest of the floating island. This is the floating island's law that men get to fight for the right to have her as a wife. And she says, okay, well, I'll pick my own champion to fight you. And she says, that will be myself. She throws him his sword saying she wants no advantage over him. And he says, you are a generous pr princess, too generous, and asks, how can you hope to compete with me? I am a man! And, of course, this being a Wonder Woman comic, Nubia says, a man? What is a man without a weapon? And she quickly disarms him. Just another ordinary human, helpless as a babe, waiting to be slaughtered. And she knocks him down, holding her sword to his throat. Surprised, he says, y you didn't slay me when you had the chance, princess. A woman doesn't destroy life. She cherishes it. She never forgets that once a life has been taken, it can never return. Until men turn from war to peace and violence to love, they will always remain in a murderous jungle. And she walks into her hut. 
I feel as if I've been lonely since the day I was born so long ago I can remember no mother, no father. Did Queen Hippolyta sense that? Is that why she embraced me? Because she took pity on an orphan lonely as a star? The mystery of Nuba de deepens. Will light ever reach her in her bottomless sea of loneliness? So there you go, gang. That is the first appearance of Nubia and a little bonus her first solo adventure in 205. It was just a little what is the mystery of Nubia kind of thing. But what did you think? Personally, I thought the first issue was just okay. Nothing special, even the introduction. It was just a tag on fight. Let's get this character out there. And there's a mystery built for her, but I think she should have gotten the full issue right from the beginning. Like what they wanted to do with 204 seems to be bring Wonder Woman back and that's fine. They should have focused on that. And then 205, this issue where you have Nubia pop up and you find out that uh, she is challenging Wonder Woman. Okay, why? And then 206, you find out really that she is actually Wonder Woman's sister. She made two girls, and one of them was stolen by Mars uh, as they were brought to life. That's what you find out in issue 206. Now, I think they should have done that in 205 and 206 and just let 204 be its own story so you could focus two full issues on the uh, first appearance and in, in introduction of Nubia. I think that would have been a lot better. What we got was okay. It was fine. But it was nothing, in, in my opinion, it was nothing very special. But that's just my opinion. What is yours? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Have you read it on your own? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to click like, click share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And uh, if you do like the video, click on one of the ones that are passing by. Check out another comic book origin story. I like making these videos. I hope you like watching them. Don't forget to go on over to Patreon or to Ko-Fi and help the channel out. Help us keep making videos for you. Like, thank everybody who's already done that. And to everyone, all of the true believers, thank you very, very much for watching.